Hi Virgo, welcome to your general love reading for August 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And of course it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs, or you can go to a personal reading to get more specific information. And because it's general, the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see, what is going on with Virgo? What is the general energy? Ooh, okay, for August, we have soulmate. So definitely a very, very strong connection here with a person that um, you might feel this very intense bond, all right? Definitely a soulmate connection, meaning that there are things that are meant to be experienced with this person. All right, so let's see. Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of August. All right, so for your situation, we have the Six of Cups crossed by... The Two of Wands. All right, okay, so somebody here is thinking about a reconciliation possibly or thinking about somebody from the past. Um, the fact that we have the Six of Cups, this can also represent um, sharing past lives together with this person, so definitely a very deep, deep um, connection. All right, however, the challenge seems to be actually taking action on a plan or on something that somebody has been thinking a lot about. I'm also picking up on a lot of nostalgia here as well. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Ace of Swords. For the near future, we have the Four of Cups. All right, okay, so there was definitely some kind of action that was taken recently, and I feel like whatever action that was, um, either by you or by the other person, it was an act of truth, or maybe there was some truthful communication or something um, came to the surface, something was revealed. There is a little bit of disappointment, I feel, coming up, or if it's not disappointment, it could be somebody just still kind of settling in um, a little bit of an unhappy state. We'll see more when we clarify. Um, for your energy, we have the Judgment card. For them, we have the Four of Swords. More about you is the Ace of Wands. For them, the Wheel of Fortune and potential outcome here is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so you, I feel like you're wanting to come back together with this person, um, or at least it's on your mind. All right, again, we're going to see more when we clarify, but I feel like you, you're kind of wanting to come back, you want this connection, but possibly you want it to be reborn in a new way with a, with a new dynamic. Um, it could even be that for a lot of you, you are undergoing um, a transformation yourself. Um, for them, there's a big shift happening for them as well. Um, a transformation, turning the wheel in a new direction here with that Wheel of Fortune. And whatever that is, it is going to be based off of some kind of a healing, some kind of a recovery from something, from a particular situation here. And for the potential outcome with the Seven of Pentacles, there's something is being planted here. Some seeds are being planted. Something is happening. Something is beginning to kind of take form. So let's clarify. So let's see the Six of Cups with the Two of Wands. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups showing up again. So definitely somebody is settling in a situation where they're not feeling very happy, the Three of Wands and the Six of Cups again. Okay, interesting. So we have the Six of Cups and the Four of Cups right next to each other here, and we have them showing up together here as clarifiers as well. So yeah, a lot of nostalgia, a lot of thinking. I feel like there's a lot of contemplation here, but there's just not much 
action, I feel, from either side. Neither from you, neither from them. At least not physical action. Um, it feels like there's a lot of waiting here. I mean, having the Three of Wands showing up, clarifying the Two of Wands, it's like there is a plan. There is thinking, okay, things should be this way. This is what we have to do. There is that strategizing, but then it's like, and maybe little things have been done. I'm not saying that nothing has been done, but I feel like for the most part, there's this sense of, yeah, but we're still kind of stuck in this situation where it's not feeling very good. It's not feeling very happy. We have the plan, but we're not actually um, enforcing it. So let's see judgment from your energy. And for some of you, if you're together with this person, um, it could even be that, you know, there's this this desire, this longing for things to be how they used to be. And then this plan, this wanting to do that is what is um, not happening. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're in separation, but it definitely could be that you are. So we have the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and I also kind of had the Seven of Wands pop out, so I'll take that. I actually feel like, you know, there's, like I said, there was some kind of truth that was revealed. Something came up. I feel like there's been action taken, um, even though it feels like you're both not really moving at, at this point in time. Like I said, it feels kind of like things feel kind of stuck where they are. Um, but that doesn't mean that you're not doing anything. I feel like what's happening is more like internal. And I feel like you are you are making this decision to kind of just kind of set boundaries or keep your distance in some kind of a way even though you do have a lot of feelings for this person there are a lot of emotions here and this is a connection where you would want it to be long term you would want it to be you know complete the full nine yards But I feel like you're just kind of like saying no to this at the moment. Let's see the Ace of Wands. Okay, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords showing up again, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you're a little bit confused here because it's like on the one hand, you want a reconciliation with this person or you want things to go back to how they were or you just want things to go back to how they were but different. That's it. I know that doesn't make much sense, but maybe it makes sense to you. You want, it's kind of like you want the emotional part of it or the way that you feel felt with this person to go back to how that was, right? To how the two of you were together as, as a unit, but knowing at the same time that it would have to be different now moving forward. Things would have to be different in order for you to feel that way, in order to be, to have that happiness or in order to have that long-term commitment. So you want the feeling of this person, the essence of this connection to, to go back to how it was, but it feels like the practical parts of it have to be different. And so because you, it seems like you probably feel like that is kind of hard, you're confused because yeah, you want the reconciliation, you want things to be re reignited. But then on the other hand, because you feel like it might be impossible for things to happen in the way that they should, you're kind of blocking it out as well. And so it's like you're trying to find your independence from this. That's the action that you're kind of taking is really trying to decide which way you should go here. 
you're actually you're confused about what action to take. Okay, Virgo, let's uh, let's let's clarify the energy for the other person. So let's see the four swords. The Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Two of Wands. All right, yeah, so it's it's the other person here who seems to be possibly stalling on a plan, kind of like thinking about it a lot. There is some kind of effort here that they know they could be putting in, and I feel like they are doing that a little bit, possibly not really being open about it, not, not um, being transparent about it with the High Priestess. Um, but it feels like it's still just, um, it's, it feels like it's more theoretical than it is practical. It's here, the Eight of Pentacles is here, but then we're clarifying the Four of Swords, so it feels like there's some passiveness a little bit. This person, I feel, is still recovering from something else or trying to heal something either within themselves or a different situation, which could be related to this connection, it could be outside of this connection. They're trying to heal that, and that's part of the reason why they have not taken action on this plan. Does that justify them? I don't know. That's not, I can't answer that in this particular general reading. So let's see the Wheel of Fortune, because I do see some kind of a shift here. just one. And it is a three of pentacles. All right. Okay. So there's a shift when it, either when it comes to a particular contract that this person might have either with you or with, um, a third party. Okay. Um, could be definitely that it's a third party situation here that is in the process of being shifted. I just don't know how fast because we have the four of swords, as I said, and the two of wands, obviously, um, being the challenge here. But I feel like there is a shift also when it comes to their willingness to actually collaborate and move towards making a change, turning things in a different direction, which of course that direction would be, you know, the change that you also would want in order for this to work out in the long run. So let's see the Four of Cups in the near future. Okay. The Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Emperor. Okay, so it feels like, yeah, like this person still has a little way to go. Um, I feel like they're up against some resistance from the outside, possibly outside of this connection. For some of you, it could definitely be arguing um, amongst the two of you if you are in contact. So I feel like for a little, just, just for a little while longer, there seems to be um, a little bit of conflict here. And this conflict, you know, does kind of keep things still at this state of this person not really being happy. I just don't feel like this is you, but definitely could be the other way around. Um, I feel like this person is going through a phase where because they're not taking action, right, they're going to end up feeling a little bit left out in the cold because I feel like you're the one blocking them. Um, even if it's just energetically. So they're gonna feel a little bit left out in the cold, which is creating conflict. They possibly also have um, conflict from the other side, possibly up against somebody who is a little bit um, controlling, which it could just be society, for example. It doesn't necessarily have to be like one particular person, but I feel like this kind of keeps them in this situation where they're feeling unhappy. And, and that is, what we need sometimes in order to make that change. So they are in the process of making that change, but it's going to take a little bit more effort 
is what I'm getting here. And things are happening in a way where it's going to drive them to make that effort. So let's see the Seven of Pentacles because definitely some seeds are being planted here. Ooh, ooh, okay. So clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Tower and we have the Nine of Wands. All right, things, things are gonna blow up here, all right? Um, that's why that's gonna happen. The seeds cannot be planted until everything else is demolished first to have clean ground, clean soil to plant those seeds. And it's not going to be easy. It's definitely not an easy thing. Um, so I don't know how, how long this might take, but it feels like it's going to be something that this person, though, is going to put in that effort. Something needs to come crashing down in order to rebuild and to start planting fresh seeds here. And that is the potential outcome here. So that's where things are, are heading. So yeah, definitely not an easy situation at the moment, okay? But keep in mind, this does not mean that it's forever. All right, Virgo. Let's get your final oracle message if this resonated. All right, and we have all that glitters. So yeah, you know, some things are not exactly as they appear to be. This person might be working behind the scenes. Certain things are happening. Um, take that message as it resonates, all right? Not everything is what it appears to be. All that glitters isn't gold and vice versa. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.